Hey everybody, how's it going? So today we got a quick unboxing and information video on the $99 uh, kit that I got from Lowe's for the 12 volt DeWalt drill driver. I got a free five, so please stick around, check out the video, and I'll see you guys there. Thank you for watching. Hey everybody, how's it going? All right, so this is the 3 8 drill and driver kit that I got uh, for 99 bucks at Lowe's. Um, I got two 2 amp hour batteries, charger, and a bag, and the tool, and I got a free 5 amp hour. Um, this kit um, was going on during, or these deals were going on at Lowe's uh, between February and April. Um, these deals end on April 28th. Um, by the time you see this is probably way past that, but we're gonna open this up take a look at it um, here is the The receipt I got The impact driver and the drill driver for 99 bucks each and I got two free 5 amp hour batteries I will put the receipt in the in the video as well. We're gonna stop the video right here I'll insert the receipt um, for a closer up for you guys All right, so we're back. So I inserted the receipts. Um, this receipt probably blown up, a little closer, easier to read for you guys. Um, so let's get these open and uh, see what's in them. The kit, this kit is the drill driver kit, the 3 8 drill driver kit. It is um, Delta Sierra Delta 701 uh, Foxtrot 2. I'm not Sierra, but Charlie. I'm sorry. Um, been one of those days. So the back of the box and the information on the box um, says max power 250 unit watts out. DeWalt is usually the only one that uses that me measurement. Um, it's not very easy to decipher 250 unit watts out with impacts per minute or, you know, foot pounds or anything like that or inch pounds. Uh, max RPM is zero to uh, 0 to 425 RPMs in gear 1 and 0 to 1500 RPMs in gear 2. Clutch settings, it has 15. Chuck size is 3 8 or 10 millimeters. Tool length is 5.97 inches, 151.7 millimeters. Tool weight is 1.9 pounds, tool only. So let's grab a knife real quick. This is just a Milwaukee Fastback box cutter with the blade storage. So, and these little bags are pretty nice. Uh, I'm probably gonna end up using one of these bags just to throw drill bits and stuff in, just to hold just drill bits. So you got your instruction booklet, wireless certification and safety information, belt clip, useful Ziploc. I always keep these little Ziplocs. I got like hundreds of them. I always keep them for, you know, little random things. Everything split, fits in the bag pretty nicely. It's pretty compact. Here's the drill, drill driver. Um, so this is how it was in the bag. Ooh, I must knock the light over. I'll show you guys what it was like in the bag. So you can leave these in the bag if you want to. That's what it looks like in the bag. The two, two batteries, a little separator, a charger. Let me turn this light on so it's easier to see. There you go. So that's what it looks like in the bag. Fits in the bag pretty well. Pull out the charger they give you is the DCB 112 to 12 volt and 20 volt max charger. This 
12 volt, 20 volt max lithium ion charger. Where is it at? Input 120 volt AC, 60 hertz, 0 0.7 amps. Output 2 amps. So this is a 2 amp charger. It's a decent little charger. Move the bag aside. And what I mean by uh, that's a decent little charger is because they're different. So this is a this is a great example of the differences between the chargers like I said on a previous video. Um, this charger right here, you can see that the charging in the actual place where the battery charges is on the opposite side. So the DCB115 is this guy right here. The charging port when you're looking at the charger the, for where you put the battery is on the right hand side. This is a 4 amp charger. So this charges uh, at 4 amps. The DCB112 has the battery on the opposite side on the left hand side instead this one is a 2 amp charger so 115 and the 112 they look similar but they're not the 112 is a little bit smaller the plastic is glossy shiny the 115 charger is more of a matte black and the charger um, port is on the right hand side 112 is the, the charging ports on the left hand side 112 is a 2 amp the 115 is a 4 amp so that's the difference between those two and I'll do a separate I'll be doing a separate video on just chargers here is the 2 amp hour batteries take these out the bag battery comes with one bar out of the three bars, one bar out of three. Ooh, that's pushing out a lot of air. I could feel the air coming out the ports from like a foot away or so. It does have a plastic chuck, not a big deal. Feels nice. It is in drill mode. That's the mode it was in. The detent switch feels really good. The trigger feels really good. The trigger's not loose, doesn't have any play. The light's in the bottom. And then there's this chart, this battery right here that we also got, which is DCB126. Delta Charlie Bravo 126. This plastic is pretty thick on the. So it's not not a bad deal. A hundred bucks, ninety nine bucks plus tax, which came out to a hundred and eight dollars. A kit is not bad at all or three batteries, charger, bag, and tool. Um, so this is definitely not bad at all. So these are this is everything that you get with it. the wall bag so it's it's not bad it's not a bad kit for 99 bucks it's actually a pretty good deal if you're trying wanting to get in uh, into a platform of tools the 5 amp hour made in 2020 it also came with one bar these batteries are pretty or these chargers I'm pretty sure are not very loud here plug 
get in real quick. I don't think these chargers have a fan in them. It's pretty quiet. This is a two amp charger. This is the four amp charger. together and then we'll plug this one this one in right here and I can do a, a video on you know times of how long it takes one of these chargers to charge if you guys want uh, so that's the that charger this is the 115 I already have This is a four amp charger right here. The light is a lot brighter on the four amp charger compared to the two amp charger. The two amp charger light was kind of dim. You can see that one's a lot brighter. And these two amp hours are DCB112 or 122's battery packs. So Delta, Charlie, Bravo, one, two, two. The five amp hour is Delta, Delta, Charlie, Bravo, one, two, six. Now it says it's got two bars. Um, these these aren't these batteries aren't very big. They're actually pretty small. There looks like there's probably one, two, three. 18650s in these batteries they're probably running the batteries this way because this is too small to run a battery the 18650s this way um, so it looks like it probably has three this one probably has six running the length of the battery yep they're the same profile and size so more than likely there's there's one two three four five six in this section right here of 18650s and and for 12 volt that's how they're getting the that's how they're getting the uh, 5 amp hour there's a torquey little drill even in speed 1 the detents are they're there they're not like amazing you know it is just a, a plastic collar probably a plastic gear for the the clutch detents but it's not bad speed one speed two this is a very nice drill we will be doing a lot more videos on this drill i don't want the video to be too long they're they're not like massive kits you know they're pretty easy to take out I do like <clears throat> the 115's charger a little better. And to show you guys, you cannot put these on the yellow chargers. Even though the prongs are the same, um, they more than likely will not latch. Yep. They're too small, the batteries will not latch. So if you look at a fast charger and look at even um, one of these chargers. So these chargers have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pins. Let me turn the light on. There's eight pins on these chargers. Um, as well as the as well as the yellow 20 volt chargers. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they take the exact same amount of pins. But the way this housing is set up is these batteries are too 
um, shallow. They're not long enough in the travel to mount. So I physically, this section of the battery actually stops here. So they will not, they will not physically plug into the port. Um, so that's, that's why it says 20 volt lithium ion on, on that one. And the black ones say 12 and 20. And the reason being is because this section is cut out. So it's shallow. So you can actually slide these 12 volt batteries on and they'll latch. And the same goes for 20 volts. That's why these are 12 volt and 20 volt. This is actually a 20 volt 6 amp charger. Figured I'll show you this one, guys. Uh, this charger real quick. Just to show you. Uh, this one I picked up in a previous video. It's already, already pulled it out to show you guys. So might as well plug it in. So this is the 6 amp, which is the DCB1106. So if you pop this battery on it, this one also does have a nice bright LED light. That is something I like. Um, I like bright lights. This is a 6 amp charger, so it will put 6 amps out. I do not hear a fan. I don't think the this one has a fan either. There's three different charger styles for you. So the 112, the 115, and the 1106. And they all do different ampages. So move the tool over a little bit. Grab the this one back up as well. So just to show you guys the differences. DCB112, this charger right here, this uh, has the battery uh, located on the left side, two amp. DCB115 has the, the battery location on the right side, four amp. DCB1106, six amp. So if you guys are using 12 volt batteries, you guys are going to want the black chargers. Yellow chargers will not physically charge any 12 volt. That's why they say 20 volt lithium ion on them. Because the way the housing is physically cut, the way this housing is cut out, um, it will only take the 20 volt batteries. Um, some 20 volt batteries here. So you can see that they will allow you to lock onto a 20 volt battery, no problem at all. Figured I'd just show you guys those as while we're doing that. <clears throat> I will probably not do that in the rest of the videos. Um, for the rest of the tools down here that we got to look at. But I do appreciate you guys watching, checking out the video. We will best definitely be doing more videos on these tools. Um, as soon as I can get to making some more content on them, I will. Um, you will not be able to put a 20 volt battery on these that I know of. Nope. They're not inter interchangeable. Just, you know, so you guys don't make the mistake. The, the brackets are a lot thicker in the 20 volt batteries, even the flex volt batteries, the brackets are a lot different. But it is a very, very nice kit. You know, the tool does stand up on its own without a battery. So, 
almost everything you get right here. And a five. And the little belt clip um, that I'll put on after the video. I do appreciate you guys watching and checking out the video. If you guys like these videos, um, let me know. Um, if there's anything that you would want to see, go ahead and let me know as well. Do appreciate you guys watching, checking out the video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell notification icon for future updates. Go check out my Amazon affiliate links, my Acme Tools affiliate links, my DJI Electronics affiliate links, as well as my Ohio Power Tools affiliate links. I hope this video was informational for you guys. I hope it was helpful with the, the different style chargers that I showed. Um, it is nice that they give you a two amp charger. It is definitely better than the DCB uh, 105 or 102, something like that. 102, I believe it was, which is uh, a 0 0.7 of an amp charger. So it is nice they provide you a 2 amp charger compared to the, the lower end chargers they could provide you. I also do at the top of the description below, I do have an Ulsa Tools link. It'll get you 10% off your order at ulsatools.com as well as it kicks me back 10% off my next order. So if you do use it does help me out saves me a little money um, to bring tools to the channel for you guys which is always nice all affiliate links are commission links if you guys use them I do get a commission off of them doesn't cost you anything extra um, just they send me a little cut for sending you guys over to whatever link you decide to choose which is helpful because it does save me money um, in a sense because it allows me to put the money back into the channel for you guys Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys on the next video. And I'll see you guys later. Peace!